Namaste, welcome back to the mat. Today I'm gonna to give you the Yogi Essential Gear Guide for at-home tools so you can practice along with me. First things first, getting a good yoga mat. So I highly recommend Manduka. They are mats that you can have for a lifetime and they have all kinds of uh, price points as well as thickness and they have travel mats, all kinds of mats. Yogi's Choice, this is one of the Manduka Pro mats which I love. I've had this one for about seven years. It's never failed me. Uh, also for Manduka, I suggest just getting a yoga block or two. So they're great to have in your practice, really just to help, especially let's say in half moon pose, uh, instead of kind of wrenching your body to reach down to the floor, that you're able to bring the floor to meet where your body is today in your practice. Great to use in our restorative practice, uh, really supportive. Also from Manduka, uh, I have a blanket, which I love. These are nice wool blankets, but really any blanket will do. They don't have to be yoga specific, but one that you're able to, to fold up and make nice and even will work just fine. Right over here, this is from Rad Recovery. Uh, this is the myofascial set that I use in the myofascial release classes as well as some of the recovery classes. This is a great set. And I'm gonna put all the links to all of my favorite Yogi Gear Guide tools on the website. But you get their Duo Ball, one of my favorites. This is really versatile, as well as the Rad Green, I call this the Medium Ball. This small blue ball, which I love for the feet, this is my favorite. And then this little awesome travel black myofascial ball that you can use for trigger points on the hands. Uh, if you've ever experienced lockjaw or TMJ, it's really great for that, releasing the muscles of the face. And it comes in this handy dandy block. So kind of holding everything together. Again, this is on rads and I'll put a link to everything. And last but not least, ooh, the foam roller. So if you have kind of a fear of foam rolling, I totally get it. Uh, however, the company, The Melt Method, came out with a really fantastic foam roller. It's really soft and approachable. So we're kind of throwing out that idea that foam rolling needs to be painful, uh, that it really can be gentle and really allow the body to recover even deeper. So highly recommend the Melt Method uh, foam rollers, and I'll put a link up to that as well. That is my Yogi's Gear Guide. You see everything that I have here. These are all the tools that I'll use so that we can practice together. Namaste.